Good morning, guys. I wanted to spend a little bit more time with you today going over a concept before you get the graphs about the signaling and incentive functions of price, or you might see it called the price mechanism on exams. And I don't know how many of you on Tuesday might have looked at question one from the, the microeconomics part of November 2015's exam, except it's May 2015 um, of that exam. But the question was about really how the marketplace works in, in microeconomics, if everything functions well. Explain how changes in price work to reallocate resources in a market. So I have a market for a fake good uh, widgets, if you will. Uh, set at equilibrium of $7.75. Uh, at that price, there are 700 widgets sold in this marketplace. But the question is explain how changes in price work to reallocate the resources in a market. And in this question, it begets you to move one of the curves and then talk about what the resulting changes would look like. So let's go ahead and move a curve. Uh, let's move the supply curve and say that something happens that the supply curve shifts. It wouldn't be bad to know about things that shift the supply curve. Uh, in this case, let's assume that there is just more firms producing that good. Uh, producing widgets. So the, the supply curve shifts, then the signal, let's do this, the signal would be the thing in the marketplace that makes the, the supply curve shift. So the signal in this case was the, the curve shift of, uh, there's more firms now, and more firms will bring more goods to the marketplace. More firms increase the supply of the good. Now, it happens very quickly in our economy, but if you look at the price staying that high, at a price of uh, 775, the equilibrium quantity is no longer the equilibrium quantity. This equilibrium quantity is where the, the demand curve uh, intersects at that price, but the supply curve at this price intersects at a much higher level. 9, 10, 11, so maybe 11.50. So quantity supply equals 11.50. So at the original price of 7.75, at that original price, there is more quantity supply than quantity demanded. If there's more supply than demanded, there's a surplus to that good. It makes sense that after the signal of goods in the marketplace, there's more firms that at the original price, uh, there's a lot more firms producing that good than people want that good. So the signal occurred in the marketplace, and now something something about price has to change in order to reallocate the, the resources. Remember when a part A you start with the macroeconomic theory, or sorry, microeconomic theory, in this case, uh, the best use of resources given unlimited needs and wants and scarce resources, well, now we look at the incentive to move to a new price. Because we have an equilibrium, a new equilibrium level, yikes, it's the wrong color. Since we have a new equilibrium level and a new equilibrium quantity, uh, it's like 550 and The incentive uh, exists for both producers and consumers. Producers, if the original price is kept after the supply curve shifts, producers are only going to be able to sell 700 of that good, even though there's 1150 to be sold. And if you ask yourself why, uh, we have more people supplying the good, but the price hasn't changed, and there just isn't that big a demand. So there's an incentive for producers to lower the price to get more people to sell, to, to get more people to buy their product. So they're willing to lower their price to get to $5.50 on this axis because they're able to sell 950 goods. By lowering their price, they're able to make up the difference, they're able to sell 250 more uh, of these widgets in the marketplace. So producers will lower the price to increase the quantity. What about the incentive for consumers? It's a little easier to argue this in this case. The consumers will lower their asking price 
after the signal shift because they'll decrease the price and get an increase in the quantity. The same thing is going to happen here. We have a price going down for the consumers. So they, they get more product at a lower price. So whenever you see a question about how price works to reallocate resources, it's really asking you about the signal and incentive functions of price or the price mechanism. I want to go through that again today because it's a very important concept. Now, I'm going to draw quickly off to the side here. When you look at price ceilings and price floors, uh, I shouldn't have done that. When we draw a price ceiling and price floor, um, this is your supply curve and this is your demand curve, and here's where the equilibrium price should be. Our price floor sets the price too high. We'll do that in blue. And a price ceiling sets the price too low in magenta. In a well, so it's good enough to know that, that those are what they are, but you want to be able to identify s surpluses or shortages. With the demand or with the price ceiling, there's going to be too much quantity demanded than quantity supplied. So there's going to be an excess demand or a shortage of those goods. Think about the price being too low for emergency goods during a natural disaster or rent for hurricanes, or rent, I'm sorry, rent for hurricanes, um, rent in big cities. Uh, price ceiling, I'm sorry, price floors then have the opposite problem. You have quantity oversupplied. Uh, greater than quantity demanded at that price, and this results in a uh, surplus of goods. Uh, if the, a surplus of goods, if it's government induced, then the government usually does something like buy up that extra surplus. But I want you to see the price ceilings and price floors in relation to how changes in price work, because the problem with uh, price ceilings and price floors is they can't work. Uh, the, the price in the marketplace can't reallocate resources. So when you answer questions about price ceilings and price floors, then you have to answer questions about, or you have to explain how this is a, a misallocation of resources too. So I wanted to go over that with you today, take a look at some of the other graphs, and uh, we'll review when we get back together on, or on Thursday.